Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden Cheese has always got some plays for you today out of the Raiders playbook. I asked you guys about a week ago to give me the next playbook in the comment section that you guys wanted me to focus on. And the Raiders had a ton of votes, so I'm really going to focus at least one weekly video, uh, at least one video a week on the Raiders, just to make sure that I feed that portion of my audience. And today I'm going to give you guys probably one of the best running formations in the game. The formation I'm going to show you guys today is probably one of the most overpowered formations in the game, and EA knows it because they've really just made this formation incredibly hard to find. In fact, it's not in any other playbook in the game. This formation I'm going to show you, the strong tight, used to be in the Bears, it used to be in the uh, the Cardinals. I think it was in a couple of alternate playbooks for a while. Uh, this is going years back. Now it's only it's, this, this formation can only be found in the Raiders playbook. It's so rare that I completely forgot that it was even in the game. And they've also taken out some run plays. There used to be a fullback dive out of this that was just completely overpowered. Uh, the first time I put this formation out was probably like Madden 16 or Madden 17. Uh, and like I said, it was so overpowered, they actually they, they nerfed it for a couple of seasons and then they just kind of removed it. You could only find it in alternate playbooks. Now it's only in the Raiders playbook. So I'm going to go over some of the better run plays for this. I might show a pass play or two here, but for the most part, the rest of the pass plays are going to be on my Patreon uh, or in the ebook, obviously, and uh, on my Join Now community. So if you guys want to see the full breakdown of any of these things, check out you know any, any of the links in the description below. You can get that. Other than that, let's go and let's put the uh, the run plays in the audibles. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start off with the stretch play. I think that's pretty obvious. The dive, I'll keep. The stretch play was already in there. The dive, I'll keep. The counter weak is one of the best plays for sure. And then the last play is going to be the toss. And then I'll also have a fifth play, which is the power O, because all these plays have their place. There's five really good plays. I actually think I'll put the power O instead of the dive, and then I'll just start off with the dive. If I really wanted to kick this formation up a notch, by the way, if you want to, you can replace these tight ends with linemen. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do that. I'll leave Witten in there because he's probably a lineman for the most part already anyway. I mean, I'm definitely going to. I don't know if, if these backup linemen are much better. A lot of times, I mean, if you have like a really overpowered mutt team, it'd be a different story but a lot of times these backup linemen aren't much better blockers than the actual tight ends themselves but for now just for fun I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna I'm gonna put a lineman in there just so I can pump this up a notch you can also if you want I mean you could put like a guy like Darren Waller who would be an upgraded blocker over Nelson Aguilar you just have to remember to swap them out before you actually run the passing plays although Darren Waller is probably fast enough to run the passing plays as well to be honest with you so let's go ahead and let's do that then we'll pick the halfback dive on the defensive side we're gonna go random four three so i get a bunch of different defensive looks that i can try to uh show you what type of reads you're going to want to go over so we'll go random before i get into this video as always if you need coins for your butt team check out my coin sponsor moxp.com link in the description below i know there's a lot of promos coming out so people are going to need extra coins uh so do it early don't, don't wait till the promo starts or the promo drops although i think it's dropped pretty soon but check them out link in the description below and use discount code money shot for five percent off what's already the cheapest coins on the market so let's go ahead and let's get into these reads now the first thing i can tell right off the bat that counter weak, based off of the fact that that defensive ends out pretty far from the defensive tackle, that counter weak uh, is a pretty good look. But I'm going to start off with the stretch because the stretch play is probably going to be the most consistent play in this formation. It's not going to be the most uh, explosive, uh, but it's definitely going to be something that you can get a very consistent look. And anytime that you have the uh, the outside edge here, which is basically what I almost have. I mean, I have faith that that defensive or that outside, uh, that tackle that I put at uh, tight end is going to do a pretty good job on that defensive end. Uh, plus, I like the fact that the safety's back further. I mean, the fact that the cornerback and the safety on the left side is a little bit tighter. I think that'll that'll kind of hold my window a little bit shorter. And then there, I had a hole, but I just didn't hit it. So I'm pretty much always going to be looking for the stretch first. But the number two play that's probably a little bit more explosive is going to be the counter weak. Now, in a play like this where I have a box safety right in that area, I'm definitely going to go to the counter weak as my next play. As you can see, I mean, this is something that, you know, if I can make a dude miss, I mean, there's really nothing over here. Here. and most times your your user on the opposite side is going to be looking for that stretch play so pretty much anytime i have a gap on the left side uh, or right here i mean this is a scenario where i probably would want to go 
Um, I mean, there's any number of plays, but I, I think that the toss might be the better play here. So I have a box safety. I don't really have a gap on the left side. Let's go and let's rock the toss. And then you can see how that guy, that, that blocking fullback, just does a little bit of a better job getting out in front of the play. So that's probably, you know, one of the reads you'd want to make right there. Now, here's a nice wide open gap in the middle. I can just stick with the, with the but, you know, this is not a sexy play by any means, but hitting them with the dive, if they're not going to, um, you know, respect that, I'll take that five plus every time. So because I'm going left to right so many times here, I probably use, like I said, the stretch is one of the safer plays. Uh, the toss, though, I mean, this is another play. This is something that's going to give me a lot of blocking outside. Um, I don't know. The toss might be better than the stretch. Since it kind of nerfed the stretch play, toss plays this year are much better than they were last year. Last year when they introduced pin and pull guru, you really needed that for any toss play to be successful. This year, though, I really feel like uh, toss plays are, are, especially since they nerf stretches, are much better now. So here we have another large gap. Like I said, any spaced out defense like this is going to be, you're going to be able to take full advantage of it with this play right here. The, the counter, the counter has always been one of the better run plays in the game uh, for most formations, most power formations like this. Any spread formation, like here we have another gap. This is something, I mean, I've used the counter a lot. I could also hit him with a, with a power and flip it. I always like to flip it. I wish I could motion this guy across. I really can't. But the power is still going to be, like I said, still one of the better short yards runs if you have that gap. One of the reasons that I would use the power O is if something like this, where my opponent's uh, blitzing heavy, the counter play is it's still, I mean, it's a better play overall, but it takes longer. Like if I were to try to run this, you see how long the the, the, the handoff or the, uh, I mean, it's obviously worked out there, but you can see how long the animation is compared to the power. So if my opponent's blitzing me heavy and I feel like I want a faster handoff, that's when I would go with the power. Then flip it with the left stick. Like I said, it's not as explosive of a play, but it's still, I mean, you know, it, it has its purpose. So here's another scenario. We definitely have uh, space for that counter play. Um, as far as reading a counter run, I mean, there's there's a definite read you have to make with the uh, the defensive end on the left here. I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, there's two different looks you're going to get when you're running counter runs. This guy right here, he's he's the read every time where you're going to take this play, where you're going to take it inside or outside. If he comes to a stop like this and slows up, you basically have to take it to the outside because he's just waiting to get blocked. If he's aggressive, and I'll try to show that as well, if he crashes down and tries to, he doesn't stop, he comes straight for the running back, you have to go inside your blocker. It's a really easy read. This is the only read you're making. I'll try to run this counter here, even though this isn't necessarily the best look. Uh, there's the aggressive look. Like I said, I got to go inside the blocker. It's really that simple. I'm not expecting a lot because it's not a good pre-snap read. Um, but if you're watching that defensive end, I'll go ahead and I'll show you once again on the replay what that looks like. So like I said, when you're running counter plays, this play here comes crashing in. That's an easy read. If I go outside, I'm going to get tackled. So here's another look. Definitely have that counter look. Okay, this is definitely where I want to go. Although a lot of times, the second lane... A lot of times if it, it looks muddy like it did there, there is another lane that typically opens up. I'll go ahead and I'll show that as well because this counter play is really the bread and butter. So here, I mean, I'm thinking I could come this way. And like I said, I don't know if they're run committing or what, but you can see sometimes there's a cutback lane that opens up right in the middle of the field. And I'm not going to force it. I could try to squeeze in that lane, but there's two guys over there unblocked. You can see how the center of the field opens up. So you got to keep an eye out for that lane as well. Now, as far as the pass plays goes, one of the better ones is going to be the PA tight end cross. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. Uh, on defense, we'll go and pick uh, cover two because this is going to basically be a cover two play. So this play here against cover two, you just want to motion across rugs. Put the X route on a streak and then put the A route on a drag. Uh, if you motion snap rugs, he'll do even better against the cover two. He can really get outside of it. Um, that's probably going to be one of the best looks for a play like this. So like I said, motion snap. Uh, take away the play action is probably not a bad idea either. But you can see, I mean, we definitely have a, a gap up there in the cover two scene. So then I'll do this one more time. Like I said, it's a really easy read. It's it's pretty much just shooting for that that uh, that gap in the cover two, and you can really make an explosive play if you time it right. Against cover three, block the A route, put the X route on a out route and a smart route them, and you have a really good uh, play against cover three. The B route here, um, it just takes a little bit of time from the cross, uh, but once he crosses that safety, I mean you have a really easy uh, one play touchdown against cover three. You can also block the fullback if you want. Uh, if you want that extra time because they're not really, nothing's really critical to the play. Uh, but like I said, it's really just waiting for this guy to cross the safety. 
bullet pass lead away, and you got a really easy one play touchdown against cover three as well. Then against cover four, I mean, you don't really have to uh, really do anything. I mean, you just block. I can block both these, uh, both my blockers, and this B route's just going to murder that. Um, as you can see here, I mean, he just doesn't, he actually outran the throw. Against cover four, you don't really have to do anything. It's just a natural cover four beater. So against cover four, definitely want to just give myself a max pro look. And you're going to get a really easy one play touchdown. I mean, this is going to have the same effect against cover one and, uh, you know, without any adjustments. Cover one, cover three, and cover four, that route's going to be all of them. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see the past plays in a future video, maybe like on a weekend video, I'll put out a full breakdown. Do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Way Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.